Welcome back to Tenaris Adventures. When I was visiting Brazil this spring, I got a chance to sit down with five employees from Jagori Games, and I asked them a series of questions to all of them to get a better idea of who they are and what interests them in developing a deep game like Tenaris Adventures and a massive world like Tenaris RPG. I hope this look into the people of Dragori gives you a better insight into what drives these guys into developing dungeon crawler board games and RPG adventures. Welcome to part two of this interview series. This part here is going to cover Cristiano. He is one of the lore designers for Dragori Games. I got to spend some good amount of time with him uh, just talking lore, which was a ton of fun. We got to look at art together and just kind of look at all the cool things that are coming. And I wish I could share more about that, but uh, you'll just kind of have to, to see uh, what, what's coming. But uh, anyway... Cristiano, super friendly guy, and uh, definitely very interested in uh, creating very fun, interesting stories and uh, and deep lore. And uh, anyway, he is also working on his own uh, comic book project. So if you are in Brazil, uh, I'll have a link down to his, it's not Kickstarter, but it's a different fun, uh, crowdfunding platform. So make sure to check that out if you are in Brazil. All right, enjoy. So uh, what's your name and what's your role at Dragori Games? Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Uh, my name is Chris Pereira, and I'm working with Dan in the creative part, the lore part, and the concept charts and characters and ornaments, uh, objects, and uh, this all the kind of stuff. Awesome. Uh, so what uh, what was your job before working here? Oh, uh, I'm a former uh, physical education. I'm working with this about 20 years in my life and, and I was uh, working separately in the comic book project uh, Superheroes and uh, what led me to gain some experience in writing and creating worlds and characters and because of this I uh, gained uh, space in that company. Awesome. Uh, what would you say are your interests outside of gaming? Okay. Uh, I think that my interest is, is uh, just like the everybody here. Uh, I really like the movie, games, comic book stuff. Um, as a former education, uh, physical education, I really appreciate uh, martial arts and exercises and uh, I've been practicing in the, my entire life. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, on the other side of that, what are your favorite games or RPG products? Well, uh, my favorite game, games, uh, I think my first RPG game was, was the, the Marvel Super Heroes that RPG. I really like it and enjoy this one. And because of this game, I uh, met the, uh, the that universe of games, uh, tabletop games, and uh, after that, uh, I know the Dungeons and Dragons and the other titles, and before that, the board games itself. It is uh, uh, my favorites. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, the, the zombie side, the Star Wars yeah. uh, games, and Imperial Assault is very nice too. Yeah, definitely fun, fun games. Mm -hmm. So, what do you enjoy about working for Dragori Games? Well, uh, well, I like the everything in the games universe, but the uh, the fun part for me is the uh, lore part. The, the, create uh, characters, histories, plots, and every everything uh, in this kind of uh, stuff. So uh, 
working with arts, concepts, and uh, new ideas. It is a very, very, very nice. Awesome. Um, what is your favorite Jagori product, game mode, character, or mechanic, past or future? So just you know, just one of those essentially. Okay, uh, I I like the the PVE game from the uh, Arena the Contest. I really enjoy it. Uh, I am here because because of this game. I buy I buy this game before meet all those guys here, and the PVA I think is the strongest point in in this kind of product. I think. What, was it the story that drew you in the most to that then? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. And the, about the mechanics, uh, I really enjoy the new mechanics about the skill tree. It is a very interesting. Uh, the interaction and uh, the players uh, is a very nice, fun, and uh, cooperative game. Uh, uh, it's a very, very nice, very, very nice. What do you think the fans will enjoy the most about Tenaris Adventures? I think that possibly the, the, the you get a real uh, teamwork on, on the board, uh, unlike the other games to have the same promises. I think the, the Tanaris uh, can uh, really offer this opportunity for a, a team building game uh, with more uh, effective. Yeah. I think this is. All right, cool. Uh, what is your greatest challenge in your job? Well, our challenge here is uh, <laughs> most of them. But the at the end of my part uh, specifically, I have to create the the everyday new stories, characters, plots, and uh, my mind is always uh, working uh, without stop, uh, providing uh, new ideas from them. Uh, it, this is a very challenge for me. Definitely. But I like it. I like it very much. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, what intellectual property would you like to see Dragori develop for a board game or RPG? Or what okay. what uh, product would you like them to see do next? So, uh, I would like to see the Tenaris Adventures in the comic book. Oh, I okay. think this is we have a, a, a very large scenario with a lot of characters and locations. I think we can create uh, a, a narrative, a very interesting uh, to maybe to reach another people who uh, don't know the board games and games, uh, and uh, they are only consume comic books and something like that. I think. Yeah, yeah, be able to draw them in. Yeah, with, with a, a great story. Mm -hmm. uh, what does your typical work day look like? <laughs> so uh, I think it is a normal, typical day. Uh, when I when I uh, arrive in the office, uh, I'm checking with Dan, the the, the directive uh, uh, direct creator, <laughs> creator, yeah, and ask ask for him about the. The, the points of uh, tendencies and the everything he needs, I will provide it uh, as soon as I can. Yeah. Um, all right, last one. Uh, who was or who is your favorite character, either past or, or future here for Tenaris Adventures and <laughs> RPG? I really like the Oster character. Uh, I think the the necromancer is a very nice guy. <laughs> He's guy with an interesting story because it's not uh, actually a bad guy. Uh, only only the appear the bad guy, but his motivation is a it's a good one. And because of this, he embraces some of uh, dark side uh, powers to 
bring the the cure for uh, his community. Yeah. Uh, and his powers is very interesting. Uh, I really like this one. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks for being a part of the interview. Um, thank you. <laughs>